So Robin Hood is back. Hurrah! The new series starts again this Saturday and the Sheriff's henchmen are still terrorising Sherwood Forest. You come when I say! Father! I am unhurt. What do you want? If you come into the castle, Sheriff wants you where he can see you. No, we're not. My father is frail. Release him! You do not tell me what to do! Burn the house! Guy, no! Please, Sir Guy. Better. Sir Guy? Beg. Sir Guy, please, I beg you. Much better. <laughs> But still not good enough. Yeah. Oh, Richard Armitage, please, Guy of Gisborne, joins me now. You're such a good baddie. <laughs> I was quite angry then, wasn't you I? You were. You were shouting. <laughs> but what good fun that must be to play that part. It's great fun to play. Yeah, it must be. Guy. It must be really, really good. Because looking at you, you're a beautiful boy. Oh. And people would automatically <laughs> think, oh, romantic lead and all of that. But, but that must be great to get your teeth into something where you can actually be a real swine. Yeah, I think the, the attraction is that you get to play all of those sides of your own character that yep. you can't be exactly. in real life. You know, you have to be nice and polite. And, mm -hmm. and I think that we all want to be a little bit naughty. So. Oh, I think there's a bad you know. Yeah. But it's good that it's just brought out in a fantasy world yes. <laughs> rather yes. than real true life. Get all your anger out as exactly. well. Exactly. Like and you filmed this in Budapest, is that right? Yes. You filmed, you filmed Robin Hood. Of course, you, I can't believe this. Is this true? When you were 17, you were in Budapest and you started your career working in a circus? Yes, that's true. Really? Yes. How did that come about? Um, those were the days when you needed an equity card right. to, uh, to work. So that was my opportunity to get one. So I was shipped off oh. for six weeks. To the circus? To the circus. What did you do? You didn't I, um, clean out the elephants or anything, did you? I that slept good... very close to the <laughs> elephants. You could sort of smell them in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was um, throwing hula hoops at a skateboarder and uh, throwing, uh, juggling sticks and right. holding ladders. And I did actually uh, ride on the back of an elephant and Fantastic. learned to backflip. Well, that's something for the CV, it's useful. isn't it? <laughs> when they cast a part that requires that, you'll be there. I'll be there. You'll be the person doing that. <laughs> that's an amazing thing to do, though, especially at that age, to actually... I mean, that's really young, to leave home and to just go for it. Yeah, this was before I d had kind of found out what I wanted to do right. and uh, I, I later decided to go to drama school, but that was, mm. uh, that was me kind of winging it in the business, you know. Right, and just seeing how it went and yeah. seeing whether or not you liked it. I think it's great. I really do. What was the first big job? Um, the first, uh, the big first big job for me, I think, was um, the Royal Shakespeare Company. That was ah. that was after drama school. Right. So that was a long contract, and it was a big prestigious. But that's fantastic. That's when me. you really learn. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. You really do. Was, uh, you, you, you could be found out. Yeah. There <laughs> if you can't hack it, and obviously you did. But that was that was the that was the big the big break. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah. And we remember you. We saw you, of course, in the Vicar of Dibley. Yes. At Christmas time, and I have to say that was. Adorable. It was just such. It was just. Don't you think it was perfect Christmas telly? For me, it was uh, perfect. It was, and, and the family kind of sat down together, and uh, we really enjoyed it. And but for me personally, after playing six months of G Guy of Gisborne scowling, it was it was just brilliant nice. to yeah, to spend yeah, yeah. all that time laughing. Which and to play a lovely, a lovely book. It's it's a great series. It's beautiful, and one of the few things that you can actually all sit down and watch as a family. Yes. With everybody getting it on a different level, yes. and that's. That There's not happen. much of that, is there? It doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen very often. Of course, it was North and South, I think, that really got you into people's attention, wasn't it? Yes, that, was, um, that was my kind of big TV yeah, break, I think. exactly. And um, you inspired a lot of attention, particularly on the internet, but in a good way. There's lots of sites, but don't worry. There's lots of sites. I, I've, I've checked them. They're fine. But it's all people just saying they wanted to see more of you. Yes. If you know what I mean. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> just more of you in yes. general. Just more yes. of you in general. No, it's, but um, that's great. I mean, that really brought you to people's attention and you made a real impact, which is good. I think it was a book which had been studied um, in schools and, and people were in love with the book. And yes, so when you, so when you realise that book for them and it's um, uh, quite faithful to, to that mm. book, I think that it inspired a lot of people. And yeah. Uh, it's quite difficult with television to get feedback. You know, if you do 30, you get a, a curtain call at the end. For with television, sure. it's really hard to get feedback from. Mm. So for me, the, the, the online forum is a way of sort of really getting in contact mm. with fans and what they think I of think your it's work. Great. It's, I really, it's do. really lovely. It's very complimentary. I don't read the bad stuff, obviously. There isn't any, there's not a, <laughs> not a one, not a bad thing there. You don't have to worry at all. It's all good. And we saw you in Vicar of Dibley as well. Not, sorry, I'm going mad. Um, Miss Marple yes. as well. So that, that yes. was, I suppose with a Miss Marple, it's kind of, it's almost like everybody has to do one. It's the law. Yes. And you're summoned it's, to do one. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a rite of passage now, but it was um, a, a fantastic cast. 
That must be good to do something like that. That's got quality written all over it. You know, it looks like they actually do take a lot of care and attention with every single aspect of what they're yes, doing. Yes, they do, and it's it's a kind of an established tradition. Obviously, yeah. the Agatha Christie novels are prolific, mm. um, and they really take care of it. it. That was very interesting for me to to play a character in a wheelchair because I'm a very physical yeah, yeah, yeah. actor, really. So to that, be restrained yes. like that, I, yeah. it was. A, a good challenge. That, it must have been actually. I mean, how do you do that? Do you, do, you, do you just sort of study other people, talk to other people, or just try and think about what it's like? To to work yeah. in, in a chair. I mean, I didn't. Uh, I didn't study any. I talked to a doctor about polio, but I, I basically right. got felt what it was like to be mm. in a chair. And actually, when we got on set for the first day, they'd forgotten to to put ramps down for the wheelchair. Right. Uh, so that was really interesting. That really interesting. brings it home, doesn't yeah. it? As to what people you who suddenly use realise what, what it yeah. means to to not be able to to come into the room. Mm. I'd never really thought, I remember talking to a lady who was in a wheelchair and I hadn't thought about it before. She was paralysed from the waist down yeah. and she said first, it was by an accident and, and she, the first time she went in the chair, of course she's got no feeling underneath yes. so she said it was so strange because you can't actually feel yourself sitting and I'd never thought about yeah. that. It's just things that you don't, yeah, no, you if don't you're able-bodied you don't until think you, about until you it. Sit there yourself. Exactly. And you obviously we've got Robin Hood coming up Saturday at half yes. seven. Anything else you've got that you are doing or that you want to do? Is there um, a big ambition that you still want to do? I'm taking some baby steps at the moment towards producing um, right. the story of Richard III. I'm trying to resurrect his character because... Oh, he gets a bad press. He does. And, it, and he wasn't that bad. Well, apparently I agree not. with you. I'm so glad you think that. Well, it's, only been, it's only been portrayed in literature, really. Yes. It's never actually been filmed, the, the true... The right. true story, and we, we're used to Shakespeare's story, so at the moment that's that's where my Yay. attention is. So hopefully that will come off the. Court. Oh, I wish you all the best with that. I really Thank do, because I remember I remember reading about that, and obviously, we, as you say, we grew up with that kind of Laurence Olivier, you know, My Kingdom for a Horse yes. and all of that, and it apparently wasn't like that at all. No, not in any way. And he was actually quite a good bloke. Yes, he was one of our. You have to best do that. Kings, so you have to do that. That would be very great. Hard. Well, we'll be behind you in that one. <laughs> Thank you. Lovely to see you. You too. Great to see you. Really good, and uh, good luck with Robin Hood. Thank you. We'll be watching on Saturday. Thank you. Thanks very much.